So, take me back to kind of, oh, actually, no, Chris, take me back to kind of the, 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 when you thought about sort of proposing. What, what came in your mind and how did team sport come in your mind? Take me back to that kind of thinking process. My, um, my foreman at work decided to do a Christmas do um, at team sport in Crawley. He left it far too late and he couldn't get a slot for like 12 people. So I told this to Laura because she'd been invited along as well. Laura said, just book it anyway for two. See if you can get a slot for two. Um, I didn't know I was going to propose at Team Sport. I already had the ring and everything else. And once I looked at your website and saw how exciting that could be, then I contacted you guys. South African guy, actually. Uh, he was an absolute star. And when I suggested, listen, I I'm going to propose to my girlfriend is there anything you can do to help me with this at the track? And then his suggestion. He suggested we um, we have a, a race and we black flag you uh, so you can get prepared with the ring. And then we'll black flag Laura and bring her into the pits and then you can do your thing. And I'll tell you what, dude, it went so smoothly. All the girls and the, the dude there as well who worked there were, were just spot on. They were very good when I arrived. They didn't let on to Laura that they knew what was going on. They, they were brilliant. I can't thank them enough. And then it happened, <laughs> you know, and I got down on one knee and it all worked. She said yes, yeah. which is always a bonus when you're Which proposing. helps, which helps, yeah. When did it kind of hit you that, oh my God, this is kind of happening? Uh <laughs> When you oh couldn't, God. when you couldn't when get, out of, the go get out of the go kart, <laughs> your legs were jelly fried. They were like jelly had, anyway. I had no inclination, no, no idea, not a clue. So when we were going around the track, everyone, I thought I was going really fast. I think I was like, you know, lagging right behind and last. And this black flag came down and pulled me into the pit stop, which I went into and I just sat there, blah, 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 and took my hat off and bought a clava. And then that's when you saw Chris coming out and getting on one knee. And took a, it did take me quite a while. It was such a shock, an amazing shock. Then I knew he was about to ask me to marry him and I couldn't get out the go-kart. It was such an adrenaline rush, the go-karting. That combined with a, a marriage proposal, which I was just so, yeah, I'm just like, I was no way I was saying no. Laura's, but, yeah, Laura's I, it, first it, words to me were, is this a wind up <laughs> and i'm like no i want to marry you yeah and i didn't mean the go-kart either <laughs> but so chris when you were going round yeah. you obviously yeah you know, whereas laura's actually focusing on the go-kart because that's yeah. she doesn't know what's coming you obviously do know what's coming so you're i, I guess your mind wasn't quite on the go-kart really, no. was it you're probably quite nervous i was so nervous i was so nervous firstly i mean i'd given the ring to the girl at the the track my mind was a whirl my mind kept going round and round which actually was okay for my body because that kept going round and round the track so it kind of worked <laughs> Generally, people that get black flags get really angry because they're like, well, what for? It's, it's like getting a yellow card or a red card in football. Like, it's like, what what, what did I do? What have I done? So we get really angry people. Did you, <laughs> you like, even, like, did you think, what have I done to get a black flag? Or, or did it not, did it kind of go over your head and you just thought, ah, it is what it is? kind of went over my head, um, to be honest with you, because I the safety briefing, et cetera, by, 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 by um, all your colleagues was, was absolutely brilliant. So I was following their lead. And so a black fag, I knew I, I knew I wasn't doing anything wrong because I just wasn't going fast enough and I've been very conscious of who was around me. So unless I was being pulled for being too slow, um, I felt very much like black fag just, you know, didn't face me. Yeah. And when I came into the, the pit stop, um that the, the young lady um said that my helmet was too big and I needed to change it. Right. Which I thought was Brilliant. I didn't think at the yeah. time actually. That would not be a black flag, flag, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. And then, and the helmet wasn't too big. It was kept steaming up. But um what's what's kind of next? Have you planned a date and, and have you been planning? We have, yes. We have a date. We're getting married on the 21st of June, which is the summer solstice and a, a very special date to us because that's when we met four years ago. Uh, and we're getting married in uh, my hometown, which will be Chris's hometown permanently, very soon, I hope, yep. um, in Spain, in a little village called La Herradura, where we live. It kind of shows that, that team sport is, it, it, it's a little bit more than just a go-karting track, isn't it? I guess it's, oh, yeah. even if you never go go-karting ever again, you'll probably remember team sport forever. <laughs> Oh, no, undoubtedly. Yeah. And one of the things that um, I'm really sort of thinking, I'd love to go kart, go karting again because it was, it was, it was, it was, the actual go karting experience was pretty amazing itself. That was an adrenaline rush. Oh, yeah. uh, it, it topped it off with a wedding proposal. And I couldn't think of anything better to do for a hen night when I'm back in the UK or a hen do. So for me, go karting seems to be the most appropriate thing to go to. It's such a great venue. 
and the staff, um, I don't know, they're just so bubbly. They're so bubbly they're just and fabulous. lovely and happy. Any, any advice for anyone else thinking about proposing on the, on the track? Thinking about doing it, do it. And ultimately, if they can, with, with, your, with all your guys' help, they'll be able to pull it off. My advice is take five <laughs> minutes. Once you've got out of the go-kart, take five minutes. When I knelt down, I didn't think I was going to get up again, ever, because my legs would turn to jelly anyway from go-karting. So I nearly needed help getting up. But um, yeah. I would recommend anybody to do it like this. What, what a great experience.